Hey guys. Hi. Hey. Good to see everybody. You too. Yeah, you too. Hey, I like your new glasses. Thanks. I was watching a documentary about Benjamin Franklin the other day. Did you know that he invented glasses? What a huge contribution to our world. Yeah, I couldn't see from far away if I didn't have glasses. Well, that would be quite the spectacle, Ashley, now wouldn't it? Uh -huh. <laughs> what do you mean by contribution? Well, a contribution is when someone gives or does or makes something that helps other people. Oh, so like how Cesar Chavez improved working conditions for migrant farmers. Totally. Contributions can be big or small, like you could contribute at home or in school. For example, cleaning your room as a contribution and showing kindness to someone who needs it. Or you could contribute to your community, like by picking up trash from a park or donating food to a food bank. Or even bigger, like contributing to your country or even the world. For example, Rosa Parks was an African-American woman who refused to give up her bus seat on a public bus and was, that was required by law many, many years ago. She helped to bring changes in laws and worked so that all people have equal rights. And in science, we learned about Thomas Edison and how he invented the incandescent light bulb, which made it more accessible to common households. How could we teach other people about these amazing contributions? An idea. Let's make puppets. Puppets. Okay. Let's do it. How could we make a puppet with items we have at home? How could we make sure that our puppet shows someone's contributions? Well, I'm really inspired by Rosa Parks and I was thinking that, you know, I have some sandwich bags at home and I have some some felt, so maybe I could use those things. I don't have a whole lot at home, but I know we have some empty toilet paper tube rolls, so I think I'm going to somehow turn those into my puppet. I want to make a marionette, which is a puppet with strings, and I'm mm. going to make it of Sundiata Keita. He was the founder of the Mali Empire in Africa. Cool. Love that idea. I uh, remember learning about the people of ancient Greece and how they made significant contributions to architecture and the art and government and sports. So I think I'm going to make an Olympian sock puppet and show the games of ancient Greece. I'll probably use a sock. <laughs> That's really cool. I love how you're thinking outside the box on that one. Let's meet up in a few hours to share our plan. Sounds good. Awesome. Sounds good. Hey, guys. Hey, everybody. Hey everyone. Can't wait to see what you guys have come up with. Well, too. yeah, this is this is going to be my plan. And I was trying to think of how I could really show that this was Rosa Parks. So I added some glasses and, you know, you, you know that she was coming home from from work when she was asked to leave her seat. So I have her in a suit with a purse and then um, she always has uh, the braid across the top of her head. So I was thinking, you know, maybe some yarn, um, some googly eyes, paperclip eyeglasses. That's going to be really awesome, Mindy, and I can definitely tell who it's going to be. Here's my plan. I made Sundiata holding gold and a bag of salt because he improved the salt trade in Mali, making the kingdom very rich. Um, he also introduced cotton and improved agriculture, so I have him wearing cotton clothes. He's known as the Lion King of Mali because the Disney movie was actually based on his story. So I'm going to put a little lion on the crown. Really cool. Oh, wow. Very cool. Here's my ancient Greek Olympian puppet. So I'm going to use the sock for the body and some string as um, the hair. And then my symbols are going to be the laurels. And then with the torch in the middle, which is the ancient Greek symbol for the Olympics. And then on the other side, I'm going to have the rings like we're used to for the um, Olympic Games, how they are played today. He's wearing a toga also. I can't wait to see how that turns out. So here's what I think I'm gonna do. 
So I put over here that I'm going to use a toilet paper tube as like the body. And then I'm going to use maybe construction paper for the clothes. I'm going to put some music notes on the tie because even though he was basically deaf, he still contributed to developing the phonograph, which allowed them to play music to the military during the war. Um, what else do I have? I'm going to use another tube to make like his face and arms and then put some brackets on the back because I'm going to have a light bulb because of his invention. And I'm super excited about his shoes. I think I'm going to give him some Nike sneakers. Hold up. Sneakers weren't invented when Thomas Edison was alive. They weren't? You're right. So what shoes they did they have like, in the 19th century? They were like leather shoes, like loafers. All right. I'll change the shoes in my finished design, I guess. Hi everyone, here are the parts your design needs to have. One, it needs to have a moving part. Two, it needs to be realistic to the time period the person was living in. And three, it needs to have two symbols to give clues to who your person is. Can't wait to see what you made. Psst. Sorry to interrupt, but I wanted to clarify something. When I say Benjamin Franklin invented the glasses, that isn't exactly what I meant. Glasses were believed to be invented by someone long ago in Italy named Salvino de Armati. But Benjamin Franklin did invent a type of glasses called bifocals. Bifocals are when a glass has two different magnifying lenses in the same piece of glass. So the bottom part might magnify stronger so that when I'm looking down at a book and its small words, I can see them well. But the top of the glass might not magnify as much. That way I can go from reading my book to looking across the room without having to take my glasses off. When we talk about Benjamin Franklin and his invention of the glasses, what we really mean is the type of glasses called bifocals. Okay, back to it. 